Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Captain JK. First of all, I have to say that it's not actually fire. It's a kind of a weather phenomenon where plasma is discharging. Why is it called as St. Elmo's fire then? St. Elmo was an ancient patron saint of sailors. One day, the sailors happened to see the lightning-like blue fire at the top of their mast. That was actually a plasma discharging, but they believed it as a fire made by St. Elmo, and it was considered to be a good omen while sailing. Since then, that plasma discharging has been named after St. Elmo. It's actually happening under certain conditions from a rod-like object such as a mast, spire, or even animal horn. Wikipedia says that it's the electric field around the affected object causes ionization of the air molecules, producing a faint glow easily visible in low light conditions. And the nitrogen and oxygen in the Earth's atmosphere cause St. Elmo's fire to fluoresce with blue or violet light. What the heck does this mean? Let's just get that in a simple way. I mean, we don't want to go more into like chemistry, physics. We're not about them, aren't we? Okay, to put it in perspective, the electricity and magnetic field somehow interacts so that there happens a plasma discharge at the top of the mast or on the surface of the aircraft. And that usually happens when airplanes flying through the cloud that has lots of moisture like near thunderstorms. But this is not the only condition in which we can see the St. Elmo's fire. There is a little different kind of it. In 1982, British Air 9, Boeing 747 was flying over Indonesia. It was a night flight and all of a sudden pilots happened to see something like the St. Elmo's fire. But it looked a bit different. Also strangely, there was nothing like thunderstorm clouds detected on their weather radar anywhere around them. A few minutes later, they lost all four engines and started gliding down. Yes, they happen to be flying right into volcanic ash. Volcanic ash is not just a gas. It contains full of fine metal particles erupted from a volcano. It can scratch the surface of the airplane so badly, including windshield and the deadly particles even get the engines dead. Normally, failed engines by volcanic ash can never be relighted. But thanks to excellent pilots at the moment, all the passengers and the crews were able to survive out of that disaster. Can you imagine? Boeing 747 with all engines dead at night and pilots were barely able to see things through the windshield badly scratched. But the worst is not over yet. The approach system in Jakarta airport at the time was not fully functional. So they had no options but non-precision approach. I just don't want to call them excellent pilots. They must have been the patron saint of the air. <laughs> 